This is Frankie Darcel. Thank you so much for joining us and always look forward to hearing from you on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. You've heard the conversation about what has become known as the sugar tax, and we want to engage the conversation on both sides of the issue, and it is my pleasure to have in the studio with us Mr. Uh, Mustafa Rashid, who is representing the Philadelphians for a Fair Future, and Mr. Larry Miller, representing the Philadelphians against the grocery tax. First of all, gentlemen, thank you, and thank you for getting up bright and early, 7 o'clock in the morning, and joining me for this important conversation. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Let's start, first of all, Larry, give people a snapshot of who you are and the, the position you take on this issue. Okay. Well, uh, very briefly, um, I'm a spokesman for the uh, Philadelphians Against the Grocery Tax Coalition. Um, we oppose this proposal, not because of the programs that the mayor wants to initiate. Uh, we're very much in favor of quality, quality pre-K. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're very much in favor of quality pre-K. We're very much in favor of renovating our parks and our municipal recreation centers, and stabilizing um, the city's pension fund. But our problem is how he intends to get us there. Uh, we uh, have always said that this tax is regressive because it's going to hit the uh, low-income people the hardest. It's discriminatory in the sense that it identifies a very narrow range of products, uh, singling out one industry. So it's, we think it's a very discriminatory tax, and uh, we don't think it's right for Philadelphians. And by the way, it's going to affect small businesses, and it could put a lot of people out of work at the bottling company. So we oppose it very strongly. All right. Thank you for that. Um, Mr. Rashid, your thought? Uh, thank you for having me on this morning. Uh, it's great to be here and, and have a uh, dialogue about it, such an important topic. Um, born and raised here in Philadelphia and uh, a product of the Philadelphia public school system. And as I go and look at what our public school system has now, I, I know it's come a long way and not in a great way from, from where it was when I went. And as Larry pointed out, and I, I will agree with him on this, these are these are important issues: universal pre-K, uh, community schools, uh, taking care of our, our pension commitments, um, and and rebuild. You know, fixing our parks and communities. It's an important initiative. Um, the mayor has come up with a plan that's innovative. He's come up with a plan that's important. And the way that we're going to fund this is through his proposed sugary sweet and beverage tax. And and we're looking to continue to build support to get it. Um, we know that this is important and it has to happen mm -hmm. and, and it's probably one of the most important initiatives that any of us are going to see in our lifetimes. Yeah. I, I know it certainly is in mine. Alright, let's start the conversation here and I'll start with you Mustafa. One, um, the mayor voted against the former mayor's um, sugar tax or yes. quote as it's become known as a sugar tax but when looking at the budget it's different uh, when a lot of legislators end up in the big easy chair sure. um, but now has introduced um, this sugar tax. What's different now than from when the former mayor introduced a very similar type of tax? 